I have the floppy drive out now, and uh, as you can tell, it's got uh, the standard ribbon cable and the power cable on the back. And take a look here. The um, number one pin, the red stripe, is on the inside. Remember that when we plug this back in. And of course, this is the power connector, and they're keyed, so there's no way you can get that one wrong. All right, so let's uh, unplug this guy. Uh, a couple things to note: this is a standard PC floppy. In earlier Roland products and other synthesizer products, they weren't using your standard PC floppy. But but in 1995 or 96 or whenever this keyboard was made, the PC floppies were you know dime a dozen. You can get them by the the case lot. Uh, for really cheap because of course every PC used them and that's the reason why all the manufacturers started using them too but earlier models from the early well you know the MC500 era uh, which is basically 1986 87 they all use like Commodore style floppies they look the same but they're not quite the same internally and uh, just pointing all this out because the floppy drive emulator we're going to use is PC compatible it's meant to use on PCs so obviously uh, not going to work on an older keyboard, but I can tell you for sure that what we've got is going to work on this XP80, and that's the important thing in this particular series.